What do you understand by self-respect? How is self-respect different from arrogance? In a village in Iran, once lived a shepherd. He lived in a cave. He was very poor and was irritated. But he was a wise man. He had sympathy in his heart for the helpless people and gave courage to the needy to face the hardship of life. He often listened to people's problem and gave them good advice. For his qualities of understanding and compassion, he became popular among the villagers. The news of Shepherd reached the king and he thought of meeting him. One day, the king disguised as a shepherd, riding a mule, reached the cave where the wise shepherd lived. The shepherd saw the traveler coming towards his cave and rose to welcome him. The shepherd received his guest with open arms and showed him the way into his cave. He offered him water to drink and shared his meal with him. They talked about various things that crossed their minds. The king was much impressed with the shepherd's wisdom and hospitality. The next day, the king expressed his desire to take leave. The king said to the shepherd, Thanks for your kindness to a poor traveler. I have long way to go. Permit me to leave. The shepherd said, Thank you, your majesty, for gracing my cave with your presence. The king was wonderstruck as well as pleaded. He is indeed very wise. How else could anyone recognize me in this disguise? I need people like him. The king thought. Without wasting any time, the king appointed the humble shepherd as the governor of a small district. Even after becoming the governor, the shepherd maintained his wisdom, sympathy and goodness. His name got recognition as a fair and honest governor. But the governors of the other districts did not like this. They left no stone unturned to turn the king against the shepherd. They told lies about him by saying, He keeps a part of the text collected with him. Why else would he always carry an iron chest with him? They said, Perhaps the carries the ill-gotten treasure with him in the iron chest. If you repeat a lie hundred times, people start believing it. The king was no exception. When the king saw the shepherd always with the iron chest, he too became suspicious. One day, the king summoned the shepherd governor to the palace. When he arrived, to the delight of all his complaints, the famous iron chest was surely fastened behind him on the camel's back. The king became furious and asked, Why do you always carry that iron chest with you? What does it contain? The shepherd smiled. He asked his servant to unfasten the iron chest and bring before the king. His complaints with eagle eyes were eagerly awaiting for the shepherd to be exposed. To their utter surprise and dismay, when the iron chest was opened, no gold, no silver, no jewels were discovered, but an old blanket was all that was in it. The shepherd proudly displayed it for all to see, saying, This, my dear master, is my only treasure. I always carry it with me. When the king asked him, why he carried an ordinary blanket even though he was the governor of a district. The shepherd replied, This blanket is my oldest friend. It still protects me. If any time your majesty should wish to take away my new cloak. All heads hung in shame as the king understood his foolishness in listening to his jealous courtiers.